I'm going to do audio on my phone. I've been thinking of updating you guys. But I know that people don't really do Q&A anymore. Or even if you want to do Q&A, you can just do it on your Instagram story. So people don't really do Q&A. Or do I just not watch Q&As? I have a lot to update you guys on. If you're following my Instagram and you watch my stories religiously, I ask you guys to ask me life update questions. So I'm just going to go through that. I don't really do sit down videos. You still pra um, study French. Oh my God, you guys, I didn't even tell you. When I went to Morocco last year in August, uh, you know in Morocco they speak both uh, English, Arabic, and French. The French they were speaking caught me off guard, and that was like three months into learning French. Three months or more into learning French. And I, I just felt really discouraged. Like, I was just like, bruh, like, I really, like, oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I got so much stage fright. I couldn't even say bonjour. I couldn't even, like, all the things I learned that I was going to be saying, I couldn't even say them because I just felt, I felt so much stage fright. They were speaking so fast. I couldn't understand anything. And then when I got back home, I was just like, I gave up. Like, I really give up. <laughs> and to think I was going to go to Senegal and be speaking French for them. Well, yeah, I gave up on that. Yeah, it was a short-lived dream. You have a keloid on your belly button. Yes, I have a small keloid. I'm trying to get rid of I'm actually... I might have gone for my consultation by the time this video comes up. So I have a keloid on my belly button. I didn't have it from having my belly button piercing. It came after I took out my belly button piercing, which is like... Is this my reward for trying to be a good girl? Because I had my belly button piercing. I was like doing a belly button piercing girl things, you know, my crop tops, changing out my rings to like different styles and designs. And it was really cute, but I was just like, I'm kind of tired of it. I'm like, I'm over it. I'm done. Took it out. And then the killer came out of nowhere. I was like, that's crazy because I know that most people, it comes when they have their piercings in. But yeah, I have a small killer on my belly button. I don't really care too much about it. I'm not sad or insecure i don't regret getting my belly button pierced because of the kilo that i have right now but i do have plans of taking it out yeah have you taken birth control pills before or rather do you know the side effects of it i haven't been on any birth control pills birth control pills are not really a thing in nigeria so i haven't and to be fair i haven't even checked out the side effects because it's never something that i've thought of getting so no, I do not know. Amy, what have you been reading? You guys, this year has been a slow reading year for me. I haven't read as many books like Tokyo. I think throughout this year, I read only two books. And it's fine. Like, it's cool. And I post every book I've read on my Instagram story. So check it out. There's a book, books highlight on my Instagram. If you're into reading and you want to check it out, check it out. It's brilliant. you find something good to read there. Have you ever dealt with detachment? Oh my god, that's like my favorite thing. Not my favorite thing. It's my least favorite thing. But like it's something that I'm actively trying to do. So, you know, I have like a really anxious attachment style. And if you know anything about anxious attachment, you tend to hold on to things even when they don't work out for you anymore. You're just holding on to something that is not even anything and i realized that early on and i said to find out ways to you know heal from that and like stop doing that and one of the things i saw when i was doing my research on how to do that was uh learning detachments praying for detachments having like good detachment skills so i'm somebody now that i'm really good at detaching it's not an easy thing it's not a happy thing it's most of the time it's really sad but it's just also knowing that this thing isn't good for me this thing isn't working out for me i have to i just have to like you just literally have to you have to fall. bro it's like a battle with yourself i'm not even joking it's like a battle with yourself you're just like holding ah i'm just thinking about the last person i had to move on from it wasn't easy at all like learning how to detach from things is really really important so have I ever dealt with that? Yeah, I'm always detaching from things. <laughs> like, I'm always just, uh Mental state so far. Start said the year. I said the year pretty, like, happy. Like, throughout the year, I've just been very content. But right now, I'm more on... I'm just, like, wishy-washy. I'm shaking a lot. But at the same time, I feel like right now, I'm a lot better 
like I'm a more I'm a lot better, I'm a lot happier with where I am right now because of the relationship I feel like I have with God at the moment is really good. So like every single thing that happens in my life, bad thing is like oh okay, so there's a reason for this. Good things is like oh glory be to God. I'm so happy that He did this for me. So like I'm very content, I'm very grateful with every single part of whatever life is giving me right now. So that's just how it has been so far. I don't know. Mentally, I'm just, I'm just okay. I'm okay. Someone asks, are you happy? I'm okay. As if I'm okay. I mean, there are, I don't think happiness is like a constant feeling for me. I mean, for some people, it might be. Like on vacation, like I'm happy too for seven. But like when life is just, nah, like nothing really is happening, nothing exciting is happening. It's like, it's fleeting. Like it's up and down. It goes and comes. I don't think I'm just sitting down here and I'm like, oh my God, I'm having the best day. I'm so happy right now. I'm happy to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for the life I live. I'm grateful for the opportunities I can, I get. But like, I don't know if I'm like, I'm just sitting down, like, I'm so happy. I'm like, yeah, it's fleeting. It's okay. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. And that's what it is. I recommend some nice books to read. Uh, starting, uh, let me look at my collection, actually. Mm, okay, let me get you guys some. Toby. Okay, so I have two books for you guys. If, if you're into Nigerian books, I just read this one in December. It's called A Broken People's Playlist. It's really good. You should read it. And then if you're into like romance, it's like one of my only romance books. And it's Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Also really good. I really enjoyed this. So those are the two books I recommend for now. If you're just starting off reading. Because they're really light, easy reads. Do you plan to use your law degree? To be fair, I don't know what it is that life would... I don't, I don't know what it is that life has in store for me. So I can't really even say. The reason why I'm even just trying to finish up is because... I don't know where I'll be in the future. I don't know what it is that I might want to do in the future. So I just need to have everything in clutch. So I don't know what it is I want to do. But if I want to, if I ever plan on using my law degree, I think I'll go into entertainment and contract law. So yeah, that's what I have planned. How well did your boho braids last? I'm thinking of getting them. It lasted about the month. It could last a lot longer, but... Towards the end, I just stopped taking care of it. Like, I stopped even sleeping with my bonnets. I'm just like, I don't really care that much. It's really high maintenance, though. Like, that's something I have to say. Like, the boho braids, really high maintenance. I don't recommend. If you're into, like, if you're, like, a low-maintenance girl, it's really high maintenance. Where do you recommend between Lagos and Abuja to start content creating? I feel like wherever it is that you live, it's the best place for you to start content creating. See if it works first before you move to anywhere else. But if we're speaking in the sense of, oh, you're a lot older, you're trying to move, blah, 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 blah. Lagos is much better. How is your love life? Uh, I don't have a love life. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, I don't have a boyfriend either. Current read. I'm currently still reading The Mechanics of Yonogo. I've been reading it since February. Like, it's just so serious. It's taking so much time. And I have so much to do right now. It's, it's just, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, reading has been a tax. I'm not going to lie. It's been a tax. What happened to your 444 store? Oh my God. Nothing happened to it. I don't think you guys really understand when I talk about my brand. My brand is not something that's around all year. My brand is like my little passion project. Like, I'm making zero naira from it. I just think of a new collection and I'm like, hmm. This is what I'm obsessed with at the moment. And I come up with a collection for it. And then very limited pieces. When it's gone, it's gone. Till when I have a new idea. And then that's how we're going. It's not like something that's just there all year round. I don't even have all year round to run a business. And if I'm running a business, it has to be me running the business. So that's what it is. How many piercings do you have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, five. And they're all on my ear. I took out the belly piercing, so... I don't have that anymore. Are you on a weight gain journey? No, I'm not trying to gain weight. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to be fit. And I haven't been going to the gym so far, but I, I would go. I'll start going again soon. I'm just, it's just a lot going on right now. At what age are you looking to get married? I've been saying 25, but I don't even have a boyfriend and I'm 2023 20, this year. So 
I guess in five it's not gonna work. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll actually see. So I guess it's time for me to actually answer the question that most of you guys are here for, which is repeat like is the most asked questions. It's like it's the most asked question in this whole thing. And it is how is law school? Have you made any friends in law school? Da, 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 da. everything just around law school first of all i did make a couple of friends in law school and yeah the sweetest girls and also i had some friends from university of abuja in law school as well but how is law school or how was law school law school it was okay first of all <laughs> i did not quit law school and i didn't drop out of law school it's a long 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 story but i'm going to cut it down to this okay I was posted late, but before I was posted, I was advised to be attending classes. I was because that was like second week of school, and I have I hadn't still been posted. So I was advised to be attending classes, and then because it was kind of like a guaranteed thing that I was going to be posted in Lagos because I have my medical reports every week. I have to go to the hospital. So I can't do it in Abuja. I can't do it in any other states, to be honest. So it was kind of like a guaranteed thing that I was going to be posted in Lagos. So I was advised to start going to school in Lagos because we're in the second week. And they don't know when the posting is going to come out. And I can't just be missing classes because, like, law school, you can't be missing classes. You actually have to be going for classes. If not, you will fall behind so fast. Like, it's so easy for you to fall behind on law school. So I was like, okay, that's fine. That's cool. I was attending classes for about two weeks before my posting came out. And I was posted to Yola. And wow. aside from the fact that I have to be going to the hospital wow. every week, I am not that passionate about law to travel to Yola. I have never been to Yola. I don't care to go to Yola. If you are from Yola, this is not anything against you. If you've been posted to Yola and you've been going for classes, that's nothing against you either. But based on me... And based on, like, my plans and the things that I have to do, going to Yola was never in my books. And to be fair, I'd just rather go another year. <laughs> I feel like if I was posted earlier to another state, it would have been a lot easier for me to be able to change my my posting back to Lagos. But it was really, like, the fifth week I tried a bit. I wasn't able to change it, so I just left it at that. Like, this is what it is. I'll go with the next, next set whenever that is. And I was really sad about it. For, like, two days straight, I was crying. Like, I was crying because I really put in so much effort, you guys. I missed two weeks of school before I started classes. By the time I started classes, I'd already gone back, done the two weeks I'd missed, and I had also like gone a week ahead so let's say we were in the third week i was already on the fourth week in my readings so this is not the ideal situation for me i was really sad about it because i'd already made friends i was also thinking about how i want to start explaining to people that oh i'm not going to law school again like it, I'm, i was just thinking of so many things and i was really sad because also i don't know what next year it's going to be for me and if law school is what i want to be thinking of next year but at the same time i told my friend Eniola about it and Eniola was Eniola was really the one that really made me to think about it because like I was just so sad about it and she was like I don't know what God has in store for me that maybe just maybe God just wants me to be free and then he wants to do something with my free time and that's why I won't be able to do it this year that she just opened my mind to the fact that I don't know what it is that God has in store for me if it was that this year is just not the year for me to be in school. Then that's fine. I'll go next year. Like law school is a postgraduate course. It's not something that is by force for you to do immediately after school. Like you can choose to do it ten years down the line. And that's just what it is. So I'm not going to law school this year. Most likely go with the next sets. I'm hearing things about the next sets being in April. I don't know about that. Oh my god, I didn't even explain to you guys what law school is because I realized that when I posted my vlog of the days I actually went to school, a lot of people were confused and they were like, Amy, haven't you already graduated? Yes, I already graduated, but law school is a postgraduate course. So you do five years in a uni, then you do law school. Or you can choose to do masters and doctors, whatever, and then you can come back to do law school. You can do law school whenever it is that you want to do law school, but just so that you're not going to be practicing as a lawyer if you haven't done law school yet. 
And look at me. Do I look like somebody that wants to be a practicing lawyer this year? Definitely not. Definitely not even next year. I don't know when it is I want to use my law degree. But as for right now, please, I'm definitely not going to you, Ola. That's not in my books. That's really just not in my books. So yeah, you guys, this is a life update. For right now, I don't know what this is I'm going to be doing. Definitely just focusing on my content creation, trying to put in more efforts, trying to post more consistently, just trying to get my own personal life in track because you ah my two weeks in law school, I was a mess, like a stinking mess. I was just all over the place. I was so stressed. I didn't have time for anything. I didn't have time for anybody. So yeah, at least now I know what it's like. When is it actually time for me to do it? First of all, I'm going to be done reading. So I'm like going to be the smartest person in class. <laughs> also, like I know what the schedule is. Like I already know what everything is like. So it's going to be a lot easier for me when it says that I'm actually going to be doing it. And then I just know better how to plan and how to balance everything. Yeah, so I guess that's all. I guess that's all. Uh, I was thinking of the reason why I haven't done a life update recently or... A Q and A or any of that, and I just realized it's because I don't really like people's opinions. I really like I genuinely hate people's opinions. I don't really ever say that I hate something, but to be very honest, I do hate people's opinion on myself. Like, don't tell me anything that I didn't ask you. If I didn't ask you for your opinions, please don't give me your opinions. So please, when you're watching this video, don't give me your opinions. Like I really like I already made my decision. I'm just gisting you based off of you know moving forward with the vlogs. You don't see me going to school. You're not confusing. You're not just asking questions. Like, I'm not telling you for you to be like, oh my God, Amy. <laughs> what do you have next year? Not the year you want to go. And then I'll go the next year. Like, it's not a big deal. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe because... Please subscribe because this is not my job. Like, this is my full-time job for the time being. So please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment congratulating me. And share the video to your friend, have a friend, and let's start the rumor that I dropped out of law school, even when we that have watched this video know that I didn't drop out of law school. Actually, comment, oh my god, Amy, why did you drop out? So that the people that haven't watched the video yet would be like, oh my god, Amy dropped out. And then we know that people didn't watch the video to the end. Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next week. Bye, yeah. Got a sweet day.